Well, it's the 1st of December, so here we go. Uh, the first day of my magic advent calendar. Wizards of the Coast came up with their own one, but I didn't want to pay $150 and didn't have to make the choice when they all sold out. So, let's see what is behind door number one. These were all randomized by a friend. So I have no idea what is behind each one. And we start with Ether Revolt. Oh man. Ether Revolt was actually one of the first sets in Magic after I became a level one judge. So let's see what we find. And let's also pop you down here. Okay. Obviously, there is the dream of getting some inventions, but also walking ballista. Uh, heroic in is heroic intervention in this set? I think that was in the original Kaladesh. Uh, we're going to find out why only one way or another. Planeswalkers. Who was Planeswalker in Aoife Revolt? Hmm. <clears throat> I think Ajani had a planeswalker in Aether Revolt. Yes, he had the one that's the uh, swords to meow shares. Let's have a look. So, we have destructive tampering. I remember getting got by this in Limited like more than once. Destroy target artifact or creatures without fly can't block. You know, classic red. Out of nowhere. Consulate turret was a nice way to stack up on that energy. Uh, daring demolition. Maybe need a little different light source. There we go. Just so these cards are not being flared out. The Aetherborn were definitely one of the more fun additions to the set as creature types. I hope we get to see them again in the future. Uh, leave in the dust. Return target, no impermanent owner's hand, draw a card, four mana instant. I mean, you never went and regretted this in Limited. Oh. Aether Poisoner. 1-1 one, one Death Touch, and it's a battlefield to get 2 energy. Whenever it attacks, you may pay 2 energy to create a 1-1 one, one Servo token. Yeah, this was pretty decent. I think there was actually a cycle of these that they had the whole when you attack, pay 2 energy, do a thing. Having that on a 1-1 one, one Death Touch body certainly did not hurt. Embril Gear Smasher. Sack an Artifact. Deal two damage to each opponent. Two free for free. Not bad. I think I remember there was the... Yes, there was the kind of red-black kind of sacrifice here. Yeah, that does stuff. And let's see here. Druid of the Cowl. Two mana for a one free elf druid who taps for green. I mean... Once we'd kind of entered this realm where they were not printing Elvish Mystic or Lanoir Elves for a good while, and this was just kind of the standard. Two mana for a elf on a, you know, one free body was not half bad. Defends and makes mana. Yeah, yeah, this used to see quite a bit of play, actually, I think. Universal Solvent. One mana. Seven mana to tap it and destroy a permanent. I mean, removal was removal. And sometimes this was just it. This was what you had. I remember playing it. I've, I've done that. Whoop. Hey. Aegis Automaton. Four and a white. Return another target creature to control to Uh Revolt was the set mechanic for Aoife Revolt, finally enough. So just having this expensive as it may be, to bounce stuff back to your hand, get some enters the battlefield uh, value. 
yeah, that did a lot of work actually. I remember a few times that it played in this. Bastion Enforcer. Two mana and one white for a free two vanilla. Yeah, it's not exciting, but I think, you know, we've not really had many vanillas of late. So I kind of miss having, you know, just having a couple simpler cards in there, just, you know, just to do the work. Shielded Ether Feast. Oi, you come on, back up. Hey. Ooh, one in the blue for a flash of a Dalkin Rogue. Zero four. Whenever it blocks, you get an energy. Tap and pay free energy to draw a card. Yeah. I don't think you can ever argue with blue drawing cards. So, yay. Let's see what we got here. Cogwork Assembler. Free mana for an assembly worker. Good old relevant card type. Two free. Seven mana, create a token that's a copy of target artifact. Token gains haste, exile at the beginning and end step. So again, triggers revolt, and you had some pretty big high ends when it came to artifacts in this set. Going to start throwing cards back up here, because... Hey, oh, Ridge Gale Tusker. Just, you know, throw out your pangolins. Free green green. Gets you 5-5 five, five beast. Enters the battlefield. Put a plus one counter on each other creature you control. Plus one counters were being thrown left and right. So, yeah. This was a pretty decent card, actually. Just, you know, base stats already works. And if you had a wide enough board, green, white, and green, black, both really like plus one counters. So, yeah. This was a good one. And I think... Let's see what we got the rare... Quicksmith Rebel. Uh, not exactly one of the high rares of the set, but hey. Enters the battlefield. Target artifact you control gains tap. This artifact deals two damage to target creature or player for as long as you control the Quicksmith Rebel. Yeah, um, there was this, and then there was the blue one that also was the same effect, except it was target artifact draws a card when you tap it. But, you know, that was still a clock of some sort you could have some fun with. Well, we might not have had any value, uh, because, spoiler, we got a mountain and an energy reserve token. But, hey, this is just day one of 24, where we are going to open this advent calendar one every day. And I hope that you will join along for the Christmas fun.